Tonight, an Eastern Washington school district opened its doors to students five months ago during the pandemic. It's what's best for kids. They need to be in school. Even with the risk of getting sick. Even with the risk. How one school district has beaten the odds and kept students in the classroom as coronavirus cases have soared across the state. The Moses Lake School District opened its doors in September. Nearly 20 students and staff have contracted coronavirus since schools reopened. But the district insists all of the transmissions happened away from school. Cabra 7's Deborah Horn shows you how the district managed to get students back in class during the pandemic. In this, the largest city in mostly rural Grant County, its namesake, a 19th century tribal chief, Something is happening that is exceedingly rare in Western Washington. At least half the students in the Moses Lake School District are back. Questions? Anybody else get 100 on their test? Back in the classroom. I'm not going to lie, it was, it was stressful and there was some anxiety that came with it. Vicki Swisher is principal of Chief Moses Middle School. Hi Peyton. She says getting here hasn't been easy. But that's where you lean on your team and when you do that, you can get through just about anything, including opening up a school during a pandemic. Students get a health screening when they arrive. You know, there's ropes in there. We rope it off. There's two stations. Ronnie Roylance, a bilingual paraeducator, is usually here to greet them. What do you ask them? In the last 24 hours, have you experienced any of the following symptoms in a way not normal for you? Fever, chills, cough, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing. Once cleared, students rarely take off their masks or leave their classroom. Instead, teachers rotate in and out. The kitchen staff brings them lunch. Does anybody else need a lunch? The students get outdoor mask breaks. Hey guys, everybody should be in the oven by now. Their creative juices get a workout too. Both should, right? We were concerned with the social emotional well-being of a lot of our students and a lot of our families had voiced that they wanted their students to be able to return to school. Christy Hoffheins is the district's executive director for teaching and learning. So then that's when we really started working toward figuring out all of the logistics that were involved in safety protocols and whatnot for the return to some in-person instruction. What they settled on was a three-tiered system, fully remote learning, five days of in-class instruction, or a hybrid. Ultimately, the district decided which tier for which student, but people have gotten sick. When we checked the district's COVID-19 dashboard, there were nearly 300 cases in all, more than half involving students, still a rate of less than 5%. And most parents give the plan a passing grade. Yeah, I don't think online is a very good way for them to learn. It's not, it doesn't work very well. Aiden, how do you feel being in school? I feel really great. You do? It helps me a lot and like when I was on remote, I was so confused. Like I really didn't get anything right. We're doing okay. But teachers have had to adjust. And it's hard to teach um, six feet apart and in a mask. And so um, they've been working very hard at it. It's, but overall, I, I'd say we're doing all right with it. To be sure, the people here in the Moses Lake School District say they weren't certain themselves that this would work. In fact, they used to joke that they probably would be in class for about two weeks and then have to return fully to remote learning again. But that didn't happen. And they say what did happen could serve as a model for the rest of the state. I see an appreciation. They're just happy to be here and they're happy to socialize with their peers. To miss that is to miss something. It's a lot to miss. And it is something these students in this Eastern Washington community are missing no more. Reporting in Moses Lake, Deborah Horn, Cairo 7 News. Now, one interesting note here. Teachers say they've seen very little disruptive behavior in class. They say students are acting out between classes or maybe on the playground, but not in the classroom. They think it's because students have a new appreciation for being back in school.